Petty Officer Dan Cox maintains all the electronics on the P3, but he spends most of his time doing his additional duty. My job in a nutshell is to work on the electronics if they break, uh, maintain all the, the data processing systems, and hump these guys here if we need to do that. These guys are sono buoys, used in extended echo ranging missions. When launched into the water, they send out audio waves that ping back when they come in contact with submerged items, such as submarines. The fundamental ingredient of an ENR mission is the ER buoy itself. I launched the buoy. Without that, the mission wouldn't go down. But Cox doesn't just drop the buoys into the ocean. There's the matter of picking the right variety and then configuring the buoy to send the correct signals back to the P3. Different channels, uh, according to different RF frequencies, channels coordinate with what their uh, AWs are going to be using. The position of buoy launching used to be its own career field, but it later turned into an additional responsibility of the ATs. Petty Officer Cox didn't mind. He was open to anything when he first enlisted. I didn't know what I was going to do when I joined the Navy. I just needed to join, so I joined and picked this job and kind of fell into it. His job has Cox flying frequently, usually for up to eight hours in the air, in addition to preparation time. But the benefits of being on an air crew are enough to keep him motivated. We don't get as much time off, but other than that, it's fun to go different places. Though electronics technician is only one of the many stations aboard the P-3, it's the starting point for the process that finds and eliminates enemies. Senior Airman Jenna Armstrong, Misawa Air Base, Japan.